hello guys welcome once again we are still on the elementor pro widget series and today we're going to talk about the gallery widget this particular widget over here okay that is what we're going to talk about now um for those of you who are new over here we are talking about all the elementor pro widgets and we are on this particular one so we've talked about the the loop grid the loop carousel the posts the you know the the other um portfolio and then today we are talking about the gallery now we are using elementor pro so if you want elementor pro um there is a link in the description over there you can click on it and then get elementor pro now if you use the link to buy um, you're not going to pay extra it is still the same but i will get a commission in whatever that you buy over there so i will it's just to support the channel so if you want to use it fine if you don't want you can still go to elementor and then purchase it over there now let's get into the video so we're gonna um go ahead and create a gallery okay so i'm gonna click on this add element over here and then um, i'm gonna scroll down to the pro element or the pro widget and we're gonna go to our gallery over here so this is what we're gonna talk about now i'm gonna drag in the gallery to this um, side of our website and as you can see this is how it looks like now what you need to do is you need to add images to it or you need to add pictures to it okay photos to it so what we're going to do is we're going to select our images by clicking on this particular plus icon over here so i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to select choose some images that i want to use okay um in my gallery so i'm going to scroll down um i'm going to go ahead and then load more okay and then just um you know add some images that i want to add so i like this colorful images so i'm going to just add this one this one this one this one over here i'm going to just select all of them okay so this um images 10 images selected i'm going to just click on um, let me just choose another two to make it like um like 12 so that if i want to arrange it like four or three it's going to be a perfect one so um let me just use this one okay so this one is very small so i don't like it um, i want something which have the same size as the images that i'm using so this one too um i really don't like so let me just leave it as 10 but you know if you want to make sure that your gallery is very nicely designed make sure that the images are almost the same as what you are using okay so um make sure that you pick the same images so that it's going to be um, very nicely displayed over there for you so i'm going to just click on create gallery over here and then click on insert gallery and then um, we should see our gallery over here once it is what it is loaded over here so as you can see this is our gallery now it looks similar to the um, you know the portfolio the only thing is that with the portfolio you can't select images you only have to what um, select either projects or post that you've already what created okay so that is what that is it so as you can see over here this is a gallery full of what images over here now that you can check the gallery type so we have single and multiple so let's look at how the multiple also would also look like so as you can see um you can either add you know multiple images over here okay so if i click on this one i can you know select images over here and add it over here and then i can also add an item over here okay so it depends on how you want it so let's say i want to choose uh, multiple images i'm going to go ahead and then select the images that i um i selected so let me just select these images over here let me just um select some few images over here so i'm going to choose this one i'm going to also choose this one okay so this one is not good for me i'm going to choose this one and choose this one okay okay so this one too is not good for me um, i'm looking at the sizes over here okay so if i feel like the size is not good for me i'm not going to i'm not going to choose it so um i think nine is um okay for me i'm going to just click on create over here click on insert over here and i'm going to have one gallery over here so as you can see the gallery name we can what we can name it anyhow we want it so let's say we want to name it like um you know i'm just giving any example like maybe um podcast okay so it's a podcast gallery okay so um this is the first one and then we can go ahead and add um an, another item to it and let's say let's make this one maybe an seo 
okay an seo gallery and then we can go ahead and add other images also this is what multiple what gallery okay so you can create different different galleries that you want so um we can go ahead and then choose the first images that we chose for it um those colorful images over here so we're going to choose um we're just going to select this one all right so i'm going to select this one so so create it and then just um you know create this one also so this one is also what seo so as you can see you can it, it just behaving just like what just like our um you know portfolio over here okay so you can make um you know your gallery look very nice so um that is what that is the multiple one okay or you can decide to just use a single type of what of gallery it all depends on you and you see how we did with a single that is it now let's look at the um the layout okay so with the layout you can um, either choose justify masonry or grid okay so three of them um, it depends on you and then the column i'm just going to make it like a three column okay so as you can see this is what three column over here and it looks um pretty nice okay so it looks pretty now this combines all of them together okay so if i want to glance through or you know just um go through it like from from one gallery to another gallery i just shoot post podcast over here and it's just going to give me all the podcast gallery and i'll choose what seo over here and also going to give me all the seo what all the seo um gallery images okay so basically that is how it's going to be like but if i want all of them it's going to what it's going to show over here now you can give um column um spacing for it okay so depending on your um your your need you can just give the spacing that you want for the gallery and then also you can also link it so um, if you want to link it to the media file or you have any other link that you want to link it you can link it but i don't want any link so i'm just going to what i'm just going to um, remove the link from there so that it's not going to be a clickable link okay so that is it because if it is a clickable link meaning that when somebody clicks on it it's going to send them to a different place over there but if you don't have any um, place to send it to then just make it what none over here and then the aspect ratio you can either choose the way you want so this is what three two okay so if you want it one on one one is to one it's going to be something um like this okay so as you can see something like this over here but if you want it to be maybe the three two that we chose is going to be something like this okay so um depends on how you want it. and then this is the fil filter bar okay so if you look over here this is what we use in filtering the word the gallery so you can what, choose um edit it or do anything that you want to um you know do about it okay so if if you point it how is it going to be like so is it underlined is it fade or whatever it is okay so you can um use the pointer and all those things to see change it to see how it it behaves okay so that is it and then the animation also how you want it to be is it fading is it sliding is it growing it is dropping drop out or none okay so we want it to be um be just on the fade um the fade okay and then the overlay also um that you can choose a title for it or a caption for it or even an auto description anyhow you want it and then also um the description okay so if you want a description for it you can also what choose it for it so let's say we choose a title for this particular one it means that it's going to give us with the image um title okay so when we hover on it you see this one is with gallery 5 this one is gallery 4 this one is gallery 3 okay so we don't have any um you know image um in the name specifically for um all the images over here so what our advice is just set that to what to none over here okay so that um it's, gonna, it's not going to have any kind of like an um a title or a words written on it over there so basically this is how um, the gallery also looks like now you can style it okay so we can go to style over here and then we can style the images we can um you know hover when somebody hover on it what do you want it to be the border the border with the border radius you know if you want to filter using css you can do so hover animation and all that you can do so and then also overlay okay so um when somebody you know hover on it the overlay the color that you want it to be um you can choose any color so let's say i want to choose like um you know a yellow color 
for the overlay that's how it's gonna be like okay so um this is how it's gonna be like so this one is for um just the normal one but let's look at hover over here and then we want to choose let's say um this one okay and then we will we'll reduce reduce it a little bit okay so let's just reduce so somebody hover on it this is how it's gonna be like okay um very nicely done so the blend mode you can choose between all the different different blend modes over here and then the hover animation also you can what choose um any animation that you want okay and then um the animation duration and then when you come to the content also um how you want it to behave okay so you can you know align it either vertical position you can choose any position that you want and then also the pattern okay you can also um, do so for it and then the hover animation and then you know um, the animation duration and then the sequence animation and then we have what the filter bar also over here so um, basically everything looks fine now let's publish it and then see how it looks on the front end of the website so i'm going to publish it over here and as you can see it has been published now let me go to the front end and then you know view it over here for you guys to know how it looks like so if you come over here you're gonna see that this is our what our gallery okay all the images that we selected is showing perfectly over here we can filter um you know we can filter it okay so from podcast to just um seo okay all of it can be done as easily as what as possible and that is how you can use the gallery widget to create your own gallery for your website now please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel let's grow together as we give you all the better content and understanding that you need to create your own wordpress website